don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how dissatisfied you feel right now. I don't know what wake up call you have heard. But remember, there is nobody seated here that is not without a unique purpose. You're not here by accident. Your life was not meant to be aimless. God has a reason for you to be on earth. He has a reason for you to be in that company. They might not worship your God. They might not speak your language, but you might be the critical connection between them and the people who need them. God will make you restless when it is time for you to move. Because he wired each one of us he equipped us to fulfill our unique purpose. And you will continue to move. When you are close to that thing you're supposed to fulfill, yes, you will feel the staring deep in you, like David did. You might be considered too young or too old, too skinny, too fat, whatever. But remember, you're going to give account to God. Your wife will not be able to defend you. Your husband will not be there to speak for you. You will not be able to evoke your children, your parent, as your excuses. You will give account before God. What will you say that you did with the gifts he gave you? The talent he gave you, the opportunities he gave you, the position that he placed you in to be his ambassador. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Your enjoyment will not last forever for those who are happy in your companies. No, because you're there for a reason. You're not to coast through life. So if all is well in your organizations, your businesses and everything, the purpose that God assigned to your life and which you are there to fulfill, it will come up. Will you be ready? Will you be ready?